Okay, I've had an idea. I'd like to create some responses to some of the questions that I get in the videos. Um, especially now that I have a lectern, um, I can lean on this thing, which I'm doing now. And I have some papers, which have questions, which I've selected from the first three months of this year. Um, specific questions because I either think they're funny um, or they're stupid or they deserve to be answered. So I'm going to work my way back from the teak chopping board to the double neck guitar. Okay, so Tom Stratton asked you have spoken, laughed, joked, etc. more in this video than virtually all your videos put together. It was fun to watch. Hopefully you will do it again sometime. Cheers, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Very cool. This is from Sean Smith. I've seen many videos where they use oil to finish the wood. What are the benefits to this? Well, simply put, if you use varnish, it will chip off into your food. Um, you can't use all sorts of oils. Um, you need to use pure oil and let the oil cure properly. Tongue oil is basically the best oil to use. It is food safe. Uh, Nicholas Dafalius said, Savas, where are you from? I'm not gonna tell you. Doc T Doc T wrote, Hello, very inspiring job. What kind of glue or what kind of oil do you use? Well, I'm using a food safe tight bond glue and as I've already answered, tongue oil. Okay, so onto the compressor. Leonardo Mendes said, Hi Savas, here in Brazil we have screws in L shape and it's very good to set goals on the wall. His idea was cool too, big hug. I'm not sure what these screws look like. Please send me a picture. Abdul Kader wrote, Over the time it will drop down, cause vibrations. It's still on the wall. Table saw stand. Cristina Felguares said, And what a paraphernalia, swampushtik, with a heart. I will buy a table saw soon and I think I'm going to make one of those to celebrate. She did, she sent me a picture, it's great. Now the drawers that I made under the workbench. Were those server racks? Excellent idea, that's from David Smith. I don't know, I think they might have been. I literally found them in a bin. They're massive and they work really well. Roy Wren said, great video, thanks Ron. I'm not sure, but I think the drawers are a little too tight for the slides. Thanks for sharing, Roy. Well, I'd, I'll be honest, one of them's had broken glass in it, so um, the fact that they worked is a miracle anyway. Bamboo chopping board. Is tongue oil food safe? Yes. Jonathan Y. What happened to your mini bamboo splitting knife you made from the Play 9? I actually made the video this is for the kite actually, I made the video for that after I'd made the kite. Ant Mallet asked, does it fly well? No. But this is one I've translated from Russian. Why is it necessary and showed no Disnak? That's the skate. I don't understand the question. Cross Grain Wood Products LTD wrote, Samvas, great job on the flatbed trolley. Did you use two pieces of Baltic birch laminated together? Yes. Where did you find a square carpet sample? The carpet shop. This is going to sound stupid, but did it come from a carpet store? Or is it a cut of piece? I can't wait to make one, Dolly. Emily the Rabbit wrote, I love your imagination. Why are you called Emily the Rabbit? Robert Foyle wrote, Looks good. Aside of making it yourself, Harbour Freight has it for £10 or less with a coupon. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think they delivered to London. And if they did, it would be extortionate. Dom Dawes asked, Why did you do that? 
Why did I make a skate? I was obviously going to make a lectern afterwards, wasn't I? Okay, workshop weights. This is quite a long one. This is from Marcin Zokowiski. I think that you, with a capital Y, made a big mistake doing handles for two hands to carry those weights. Why? Carrying heavy weights in front of your body charges your spine with full weight of that. You, capital Y, carry in an uncomfortable position. It is dangerous if you do it often. It's much more comfortable to carry heavy load in one hand on the side of your body and it's very comfortable when you take the same weights in both hands at the same time. If I need one weight, I'm not going to pick up two. And I'm sorry I have two hands. Okay, Papa Pig 1977 said, Not very well, my friend. This is a double neck guitar. I don't understand what that's directed at. But they're obviously not happy. There was another person who's not happy. Uh, this is called Dimitris. He's Greek, by the sounds of it. What the fuck are you doing, mate? He's obviously not Greek, because it's written in English. And that's the questions for this session.